Hollywood Haley J. The I. Hollywood Haley J, the International Wrestling Network Women's Champion. And we'll talk more about that title. But it didn't take long for these two women to cross paths to determine who is the alpha female in independent wrestling right now. Is it Hollywood Haley J? Or is it this woman, the real mean girl? Well, Danny Jordan is a history maker on a lot of fronts. As you can see, Emily still hanging with Danny Jordan. Emily is the nephew, to be the niece, of the former IWE Women's Champion, Lindsey Snow. Lindsey Snow, who some might want to call forever champion, 854 days as champion. But that reign came to an end at the summer of 24 inside of a steel cage. And uh, what do you think it means that Emily is still with Danny and not tending to Lindsay Snow? Well, Danny Jordan is a bully. And that she's still bullying Emily, but just Emily just doesn't see it. I wish Emily would wake up and see that she's being bullied by the champion. Meanwhile, the champion, well, we can't, well, they're both champions. It's, it's rare that you get a title versus title situation, but here we are. Hollywood Haley J said, how dare you touch my championship? Hollywood Haley J, who many may know from her time on the Netflix docu-series Wrestlers, which chronicled the lives of all that was happening there in Ohio Valley Wrestling, OVW. That's where the world got to know about Hollywood Haley J. Since then, Hollywood Haley J has become the IWN Women's Champion. Can she add another title to her resume? Or will tonight be the night that Danny becomes Danny Two Belts? One of these remarkable athletes will walk out the Legion with two titles. And I, I've got to ask you, Danny Jordan just won this championship back at the summer of 24. Today is day 70 of her title reign. Was it too emotional of her to find herself in a ring already defending the title with the potential of losing it to another champion. Her ending the prestigious streak between, of Lindsey Snow, we're gonna hear that forever. She's gonna be bragging about that and talking about that forever. But she does look determined and motivated to beat Holly Hood, Haley J here tonight. Well, it's funny that you mentioned motivation about Danny Jordan. Danny Jordan, uh, rather publicly, went to the socials this week and she alluded to the fact that she could be nearing the end of her wrestling career. Oh, no, I didn't hear about this. No, before. she literally said, um, not to bring the vibe down, but I've been considering leaving pro wrestling for the last three years. And so I've got to ask you, and she said that, you know, she stopped having fun a long time ago. So now my question to you is how focused is she on winning this IWN Women's Championship if she's feeling like, oh, whoa, whoa. First off, I just want to commend you on your incredible journalism there, Gerard. Well, thank you, sir. Because I didn't know about that. I didn't know that about Danny Jordan. But Hollywood Haley J, she wants to walk out. She wants to take full advantage of that doubt that Danny Jordan is having of, of still remaining in this great sport. And it makes me wonder, though, if indeed winning the IWN Women's Championship would be enough for Danny Jordan to kind of re-up her love on this sport. Hollywood Haley J wants to take full advantage to your point. Now here's what's interesting to me. Hollywood Haley J is in year four of her wrestling career. It was at year four of the wrestling career for Danny Jordan where she had kind of really hit her peak. Wait a minute. Danny Jordan's leaving. Wait, they're, they're going backstage. What's happening? Oh wait, 
Hollywood Haley J brings her back. And you've got to wonder now, you've got a great referee there. Yolanda is back. We're so glad to have Yo-Yo back with us. And she's the right woman for the job to ensure that this match stays in the ring because you would not want a title for title match to end in anything but a pinfall or submission. We're definitely got, not going to see no uh, friction between the referees in this match like we saw earlier. You got that right. But I'll tell you what, looking at Danny Jordan. Whoa. Danny Jordan, her leg got caught in that rope and her back is hurt. She looks pretty motivated to me right now in this match to perhaps hold on to the IWE Women's Championship and add another title. But not if Hollywood, not if Hollywood, Haley J has anything to say about that. Hollywood, Haley J comes from the streets of Kentucky. Last last show, I, I, I her mom is from Canada, not Haley J. As soon as I got to the building today, Haley J called me out on it. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. Snap suplex there from Hollywood, Haley J. So we talked about things on Danny Jordan's side. For Hollywood, Haley J. Do you think that there's really interest in becoming the IWE Women's Championship, or is this just another knot to add to her belt? To be honest with you, I think Haley J is here to become a champion. She's an international star. She's a Netflix star. But she is going up against an IWE star and Danny Jordan. That's absolutely correct. Went there for a big kick, but not to be Danny Jordan. Oh, now Danny Jordan hits that same kind of kick. And this could end right here. One, two, whoa. What a vicious knee to the back of the head by the mean girl, Danny Jordan. And we're seeing again the inspiration for Danny Jordan. And we know Danny Jordan, again, as I mentioned, talked about potentially her career coming to a close. Tonight, we could see a career come to a close. But right now, we could see the career of uh, Huckabee come to a close later tonight in our main event for the Tag Team Championships. But right now, Danny Jordan seems to be invigorated and could be going. There it is, that arm lock that has won her championships all over the region. Is that enough to take out Hollywood? Haley J. Danny Jordan looking for a tap out or submission victory. But this could turn oh. into a pinfall. Two. Whoa. Haley J reversed it into a schoolboy. Oh! And they both popped each other. Double knockout. Could we see a double TKO, Gerard? We certainly could, and if they do, both women would retain their championships. There has not been a count start. Now the count is starting. Well, at the beginning of this match, Hollywood Haley J came to fight. She came to win both championships. Danny Jordan, she didn't want to come to fight. She she tried to leave the ring, but it now it looks like all the fight that Haley J has given to Danny Jordan has motivated Danny Jordan to find that that inner that inner beast mode in her. And now we got a title fight on our hands, Gerard. Indeed, we do. As we're at a count of six, what is Haley going for? Looks like she's got so something with, in her hand. Meanwhile, Danny's got the burn book, and Haley's got her own unique. What is that? That oh, that's her sock. That sock issue there. For the love of mankind, Haley J has a sock. It's not just any sock. It's a sock of rocks. And the question is, is she going to use that? Well, seeing that it's caught there by Yolanda, Yo-Yo's not going to have it. You can't play with my Yo-Yo. One of the best referees in all independent wrestling. And so they're both going to lay down their weapons, only to grab their weapons from each other. And we're again at a standstill. Neither of them can use those weapons, the burn book or the sock of rocks. Nice knee there from Danny Jordan. The rock is, well now the sock, not to be confused with the rock and sock. Here comes the number one contender, Emily J. Emily J. Emily, Emily J is looking for her revenge from earlier tonight. Emily J is firing those right hands on Danny Jordan. And the fans come unglued, Gerard. I don't think Emily J just realized what she did. Emily J just cost Hollywood Haley J the IWE Women's Championship. In turn, she also cost Danny Jordan the IWN Women's Championship. But what is the official call here by Yo-Yo? That's the question. 
Because I thought Yo-Yo called for the bell. We did hear a bell, but what is the official decision? Here we go by Diana. Your winner by disqualification, Danny Jordan. So does that mean, well, Haley J, she still gets to walk out with the IWN women's title. That's correct. Because the title does not change hands on a DQ. That is correct. And so both women still walk out as the respective champions. Though Danny Jordan gets the win by disqualification, but something tells me this battle between Danny Jordan and Hollywood Haley J is far from over. And look at Danny Jordan. She's celebrating like she just won the Super Bowl or the World Series. Well, I'm sure Danny would have loved to have left with a second championship. But I'm sure Danny is glad that she's still leaving with the IWE Women's Championship. And what we know for sure is there's a date soon to come between the IWE Women's Champion, Danny Jordan, and Emily J. What a match will that, is that going to be, Gerard? Definitely some bad blood between those two competitors. But Danny Jordan still leaves as the queen of IWE, the first ever three-time IWE Women's Champion. Gotta wonder, will this lead to perhaps a matchup at Kings of Controversy 3, which will happen in November?